Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you how to use Simple Screen Recorder, which is a lightweight but super useful uh, screen and audio capture software. And I'm going to launch it. Okay, I already installed on, it's basically available on every disk, I guess. On uh, Arch, you can install it by running sudo pacman dash capital S simple screen recorder that's it all right and then you can launch it I like actually I have a shortcut and I like to launch it as there it is simple screen recorder with this option so simple screen recorder start hidden so actually it doesn't show up the graphical interface but the as you can see the tray icon is there so you launch it but it stays in the tray okay minimized all right then you want to open it this is the first page an introduction page and you want to continue so now i'm going to explain you everything and how i use it i don't use profiles but you can if you want all right and it's not really difficult to use you can switch between modes and frame rate and stuff just with a few clicks it's really e super easy to use so i don't use profiles i normally record the entire screen so in my case it's 1080p okay my monitor my entire monitor especially when i'm by the way gaming okay sometimes maybe a game you know it's a little bit old and it doesn't have like a 1080p resolution and i have to run it in a wind in a window you know i record like a fixed rectangle so let me take steam here for example let's say that i want just to record this window here i can select a rectangle this is one option and i can select a rectangle like that you know and if you go actually if you go here at the end i'm gonna return uh, this i'm gonna return here later but now i'm going to show you the preview how it is so with the rectangle you're gonna record just this part here so actually the frame that i just selected you know and by the way uh, mind that if you are moving the window you can also i mean you can go out of the frame so once you set the frame, the rectangle, then just leave the window where it is. If not, it's going to, to go out of the frame like this. You're going to record something like this. You can do also something very cool here if you want. This is like OBS, the preview, very similar. Ooh. anyway let's return back let me cancel recording and go back and also i can select the window okay so you press select window and then you press on a window i can select this for example and then as you can see it uh it takes the the size of the window and it records it without borders or without any bar any black bar or whatever you know just the window that's it and by the way also mind that if you're moving the window you're going out of the frame okay i can do the same for example for our for simple screen recorder itself as you can see i'm recording simple screen recorder <laughs> and mind that you can go out of the frame if you don't if you move the the window okay so let's go back you can also record uh, following the cursor never tried it maybe i'm going to do a video later by the way selecting the width and the height of the rectangle that it's going to or the shape that it's going to follow in the the cursor you know it can be a rectangle or a square by the way and then you can record opengl uh, i tried that but mm, like many months ago maybe a year ago you know just to try out but probably i was 
doing something wrong you know the the game actually was running very slow but maybe you know it improved a little bit or maybe i was i was doing something uh, incorrect you know anyway there it is you can try out and if you want to record steam games just press here open gl settings and then uh, read uh, this first which is a uh, it's going to open a page on your browser where everything is explained okay then here you have the I'm going to record the entire screen go back to re record the entire screen you have the frame rates so if you are uploading on YouTube YouTube accept 24 30 48 50 and 60 and maybe something else I'm not sure maybe 25 also but normally I record like 30 or 60 you know that's it so what I have to do as you just saw I can go here and type 30 or 60 or I can move my mouse wheel and select 30 or 60. If you have prob you know if you don't like 30 but 60 is taking too much out of your performances you can just try out 48 it's not so bad. I've up, uh, I've uploaded some video recorder 48. It's not bad, you know. Maybe the the game is running like uh, 50, you know, 55, so less than 60. It's not very stable at 60, and you can record at you can record at 48 or 50. YouTube is gonna accept these two frame rates, and looks better than 30 actually. It looks closer to 60. So let me go back to 30, as I normally do. And by the way, you can scale video after you recorded that and record the cursor or not. And here you can select to record uh, if you want to record the audio. And you can select actually the backhand, so push audio, alsa, or jack. I'm not going to explain much here. I'm not going to tell you much about this. Maybe to explain all these three, I'll need like um, way more than three videos, you know. Anyway, by default, all the major distribution should have post audio and if you know what you are doing you probably want to use jack and alsa but by the way post audio runs just fine and with pavu control which is a software to control post audio you can just uh, control all your inputs your uh, outputs you know your cards maybe your graphic card the uh, audio card the built-in audio card, an external card. You can do control everything, you know, turn the output off or all the card off or uh, stereo, uh, surround, you know, 7.1, 5.1, etc. So you can control that and then here you can select the source. In this case, I'm selecting monitor of built-in audio, uh, audio analog stereo, which is the desktop audio, you know, or I can also select this one, Turtle Beach, which is my microphone, okay? But right here, in with this method, you cannot record both, you know? You can probably do that with Jack, or there is a way to do that, but when I have to record a, vi uh, a video and an audio, I just use OBS, you know? It's easier. I mean everything is there but I think it's quite easy also to record both the desktop audio and the your voice so for example a, uh, an audio the audio of the game or a video or a music that you're playing and then your voice you know so I want to continue here you have the save file as and uh, you have to select at the, at the beginning you can select a default folder I just created a SSR, so Simple Screen Recorder folder in my video directory, you know. And then here, a separate file per segment, I'm going to explain this later. Basically when you pause and, uh, and then continue the video, it, it doesn't merge together, but it's save as separate. And then you have the container. I use MKV, Matroska, and uh, Matroska has a few codecs H264 it's the most common you know the most uh, famous but also Matroska support these other two VP8s made by Google if I'm not wrong Teora I'm not so I don't know about it anyway probably you want to use this one 
it's most famous, it's most well known, but you can also try something else. Then you have container MP4, and MP4 actually supports only H.264. So I'm going to back Matroska. And if you're using this one, then you have uh, the constant rate factor, okay? And uh, I suggest you to use, as it says here, you know, and by the way, you just go with your mouse and you have everything explained. This is a really a great software. Uh, let's say if you want uh, good quality, you can go to 21. That good quality, you know. If you want very good quality, try out 18. And this is lossless, you know. If you want very, very good quality, go lower than that. Actually, mind that the lower you, you go, the bigger the file size. And I already have problems sometimes recording at 23. Okay. Constant rate factor 23. I have problem because the file is huge. That depends also on what you are recording. Like if you're recording an FPS, so there is a lot of movement, you're moving the camera a lot. There are a lot of colors, so maybe there are bright sides, maybe the sky, and maybe then you go in a dark side, maybe you enter in a room, you know, and you mix those, you move your camera, you mix those bright, you, those colors, dark colors, light colors. Then you're going to have a bigger file with a bigger bitrate, you know, maximum bitrate. So you can, depending on what you're recording, you can also uh, change the constant factor. If, for example, I was to recording this video that I'm recording now using a, a simple screen recorder, I know already that he is going to, it would have uh, end up being a not so big file, you know, because all this part, you know, that's not moving, it's staying the same, is going to basically, it's not going to be recorded by H264. It's, it's going to use the, it's going to record one frame and then it's going to use that one until that frame changes, you know. So that's why when you're moving a lot in a video game, it's going to record all these frames and the bitrate goes up. All right. Then you have the preset. I use ultra fast. The faster, the lower the CPU consumption. Okay. This is so the CPU usage, but also the bigger the file size. Anyway, if you have problem with the the game that you're recording, the performances, if you're if you're by the way recording games, you may want to use ultra fast, maybe super fast, maybe very fast, but maybe uh, anything else is going to to mine your performances. You know, you're going to lose FPS, etc. I always have ultra fast, and also allow allow frame rate skipping. Anyway, if the, if the file is big, you can also re-encode that with FFmpeg later, no big deal. Then the audio, you can select a few codecs here. I use Vorbis and 128 as bitrate. You know, that's enough. All right, and that's it. Here you can start a recording or you can also enable hotkey. In my case, it's Control, Shift and uh, R. So the R button. I'm gonna stop the preview. I'm gonna set it to two. I normally never s use the preview. I just start to check if something is wrong. Maybe when I'm recording a window or a specific rectangle, and then I just turn it off. Okay. If you're using that, remember that the the higher the frame rate, the higher you are going to impact in the CPU usage. So if you're recording games, this maybe is going to be a problem. You know, it's going to suck a little bit of your CPU usage. So just turn it off or use it like 2, 3, 1 FPS. That's enough to see what's going on. All right. And then you have the log page here, the log uh, section. So if you have problems, just check it. Or you can actually start... Uh, simple screen recording from the command line. Okay, I'm going to start recording using the hotkey, so I'm going to press Ctrl, Shift, and R. 
as you can see the recorder started you have a few uh, informations here information here you can also by clicking the tray icon minimize or maximize uh, I mean hide or uh, showing the the window it's raining like crazy right now and my window is open the real window my okay maybe the rain is coming in all right anyway uh, you, here you can pause the recording and if you go press and save the recording basically you are stopping and, po and uh, saving it if you press pause then remember that you have to save it if not it's going it's going to, to lose it and anyway if you try to quit it's going to tell you 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 have not saved the current recording yet if you want to quit it will be lost are you sure you want to quit I'm going to press no and I want I'm going to press save if I need to save now if you check my videos you know that uh, I don't actually use simple screen recording from here I use from the from the tray icon so I started recording you know and I cancel if I need to cancel or I pause normally I just press save the recording when I'm done you know in this case I'm going to cancel and this you see in every video any every my gameplay video you know gameplay recording I always use uh, so simple square recorded like that super easy just press the right button start and then save that's it or cancel if you want to if you made a mistake or whatever let me close team here and that's it so that's how it works super easy try it out check the constant rate factor I will start with 23 and then I will check maybe to go 22 21 or uh, even 24 if the quality is enough for you 24 25 anyway you can check with ffmpeg the max bitrate or the overall bitrate or if you're using ranger which is this great command line find manager it has also some uh, it prints some information about the video like for example this video prints the overall bitrate you know and if you're uploading on YouTube, YouTube accept a maximum bitrate of 12 megabyte per second for 60 FPS video and 8, if I'm not wrong, for 30 FPS video. So in this case, this video is 13 and probably it will get like cut a little bit by YouTube, meaning that in some parts, maybe where I'm moving the camera a lot or there are some bright color you know the, the scene is changing it will be cut and the quality will be a little bit slightly worse on YouTube than it is on your video as I say you can also re-encode everything with FFmpeg so you can check as I said if you have problem like uh, you record and your video it's it's good quality then on YouTube it just look like crap you know check the bitrate and maybe the original video that you recorded was like twice or even thrice you know the maximum 12 megabyte per second which YouTube tell you for 60 FPS in this case this video it's like 28 so this is going to be cutted the quality is going to be cut cut it down by YouTube you know and this on YouTube will look nothing like the original file so this file will be nothing like a what I will see on YouTube and by the way the bigger the bitrate also the, the the longer the processing time that YouTube requires because it actually has to processing more the video and to cut to level the bitrate to the maximum of 12 uh, megabyte per second or 8 megabyte per second all right that's it so try it out and uh, I think it's important to to switch you know from a passive uh, spectator or observer or or watcher you know then you you start you open YouTube you know you go to YouTube and you check videos and you thumbs up or you thumb down but you don't really know what's about recording a video what's 
even presenting, explaining a software in a different language that not your, that that's not your, like English in my case. It's not my language. My mother lang my mother language. And uh, what's behind video editing? Once you recorded the video, then video editing, you know. So instead of being a passive watcher, let's try out, you know, simple screen recording, start recording your videos, start uploading on YouTube, start understanding what's the problem that you have while recording, while uploading, the comments that you have, you know. And then you maybe you will also understand uh, the other channel, you know, other people that, maybe they they pass hours recording videos re-recording you know starting from zero a project an idea and then uh, passing hours video editing and then you you will understand what's behind uploading a video you know and your uh, and you will change your point of view all right that's it hope it was helpful and see you in the next time guys bye bye